Hey guys. Doesn't that look beautiful? <laughs> uh, the swell, some of it's gone down. It was like puffy all the way here and then like all the way down to here. Um, but some of the swelling's gone down. It's really irritated though and I have no Benadryl to try to help. I told you, black flies were bad. Um, I feel like I look like I'm thinking really hard all the time. Because uh, I think and I'm, every time I think I go, mm, like kind of thing. Anyway, so I wanted to show you. She does that all the time. Don't you? Um, they sure do. So I got most of the garden planted. Good. Except for, oh, Josh thinks I'm talking to him. I do. <laughs> anyway. So we, Restart. I, know. <laughs> I said I look like I'm thinking really hard all the time. Like, eh. <laughs> That's what, I don't know. It's bad. Quite the pimple. Yeah, I wish. I could just pop it and it would go Bug away. Bug bite. It looks really bad out here. It looks worse out here than it does inside. Uh, probably because I was going like this. I found when I look up, it's better. Anyway, so I got most of the um, garden planted. Uh, we are waiting to plant. So we plant the carving pumpkins at the end of June. So that way they're ready for like end of September, mid-October, I guess. Because end of June would be July, August, September, and they're ready in like 95 to 100 days. Um, so they're basically, they'd be like ready to go by um, Halloween. But I guess I could just plant them like in the middle of June just to make sure we're good. Um, but anyway, point being, we didn't plant pumpkins. And we're waiting for um, the sweet potatoes and the red potatoes to all grow eyes. Um, I got impatient. Uh, some of our russets were doing really well. They were starting to grow like green stock and plants and stuff. Um, so I just threw all the russet potatoes in the ground. Um, I did not chit, I think is what you call it. I didn't cut them up. I didn't chit them. I literally just shoved the whole potato in. Um, and so we have the russet in the ground. We're waiting for the sweet potatoes and the red potatoes, and then they'll go in their rows. I have all the peppers in that'll fit. Um, I did two containers of bush beans. We put peppers in at the end of the rows and everywhere we could throw them, and we still have extras. I went through the garden and took any broken tomato plants and replaced it with new tomato plants because they're all downstairs and outside on the porch now. Um, but just let's just take a look. We're basically I think. Uh, in a bit, in a bit, Joshua. Um, hang on. All right, so my eye looks so funny. So, oh, I guess if it's pointing at me, you can't see what I'm pointing at. Hang on. So, we have the two blueberry plants here, the raspberry plants and then the blackberry plants. And then I'm basically just trying to keep enough room here. Hang on, let's show you by backing out. Okay. So we're trying to keep enough room that we can get, cause we have a septic tank over there in the backyard here. So I'm trying to keep enough room that a truck could like back up to like, you know, here. Um, and then we're also leaving room so that the raspberries can extend and grow and the blackberries can extend and grow and the blueberries have room to grow. So we got to figure out where we're going to put all the strawberries. I'm going to let them get a bit bigger and put them in probably like maybe middle of June just to give them another month to grow. Um, okay, so this is the squash area with the bush bean bins. Okay, so I got to water them yet, but these two bins have bush beans in them. And then I know this is very condensed. <laughs> I was supposed to have like a good 15 feet of room here and I think there's like six feet. Anyway, there's a row here, a row right here and that's the pie pumpkins. And then we have zucchini. And then we have this row 
and this row that is all butternut squash because that was all the seeds in the packet so I just planted them all because why not um, so we have to water this and then like I said probably middle mid-june because that way mid-june June I can come out and plant these pumpkins or the kids can and then we can get the strawberries in the ground um, but we have to come water this this is our squash area now so I'm gonna let it grow kind of like back that way I'm gonna let it grow a little bit to the side because that's kind of the property line um, and then I'll let them climb out like they got room they can climb out this way they can climb out that way they can kind of creep out in every which way so I actually ended up um, planting almost two seeds per hole just so they could kind of grow in different directions we'll see how it goes well, all we did was put cardboard down and then i threw a bunch of potting soil on top um, the cardboard's hopefully going to snuff out the grass and the weeds if not we'll pull them out um, but it's also going to decompose over time and provide some nutrients for the plants i did not use the best cardboard i used whatever i had so that was actually the cardboard for the fence from around the uh, garden um, you should use just like plain cardboard that doesn't have any like dyes or plastics or anything, but you know what? We work with what we have. Um, so yeah, those are those pots. Only thing I haven't done is our potential experiment on planting like wheat or popping corn over there. And I really want to try putting some popping corn in and then we'll walk over to the, to the garden. So these are our four plants. That we have no idea what's in them all uh, but they're growing whatever's in there so i'm gonna say that that's kale because it's kind of near the middle and joseph just kind of threw it all uh, near the middle and i think this is probably going to be spinach and i think this is going to be our swiss chard which means that it was lettuce in the first container that's not growing very well. Um, then we have these guys. Surprise! Look how big the beans are getting. So they're going to start climbing soon. I'm not going to get into details because we, I'm sure you're annoyed by all my videos of garden tours. But they're getting big. They're sprouting. We have no nasturtiums coming up, and then we've got a few calendula coming up, and then more beans. This might actually be a tree because that does not look like anything that I planted. Oh yeah, what is that? Yep. See what the squirrels do to me? They were growing a tree. So these are the butternuts that are all over the yard. They were growing a tree. Get out of here. And then look how big the peas are. And our last marigold has flowered. That was the one that was going to flower soon. Flowered. Okay, so what we did. Oh my goodness, the trees. The trees. Anyways plant all these butternuts for later they forget where and then they start digging in my garlic to find all their lost nuts I think they lost their marbles too anyway so obviously garlic and onions looking well we planted peppers at the end of the path because um, I just figured having a path that went all the way was kind of wasted space so in the last kind of four feet of each row we planted something because we can also attack whatever we planted from the far side to get in from the path to get in we can get over to over here and over here utilizing like the back area of the fence and the rest of the path um, so these are pepperoncini peppers and i accidentally planted a paprika in there because i thought they were all the same but they weren't this is where we planted our potatoes um because you can see that is that there um is the sprout guy that was up in the grow room that's sprouting so we have one row and then I didn't, I felt, I only, I planted them about six to eight inches deep. I had originally planted them like over a foot, which is why there's this whole pile of soil because I came back out and pulled a bunch of soil off just to make sure they could come up. Um, and then the rest of the bed will be like sweet potatoes, red potatoes, and that'll leave a line here. So if we want to grow like more carrots or something later on, we can. And then so these are 
Um, I didn't label them. I think these are the Ring of Fire. And then I think that these are paprika with maybe one or two pepperoncini in there. Ring of Fire is supposed to be really hot. Pepperoncini is supposed to be a little hot, but not too hot. Um, and then what I actually did, because we planted these a while ago, some of them had died and some of them had snapped. So any of the ones that snapped or died, I pulled them out and we planted Sensation, which are yellow peppers, in their place to make sure they all grow. Pretty sure we still have a random broccoli plant. There's my finger right there. Can't really tell, but there is a broccoli in there by accident. Because, you know, we're so good at labeling our stuff. Um, so then these peppers are sensation and then we got all the tomatoes planted um, and it's really cool so these are all the they're kind of flopping over because in the grow room they had to grow oblong to try to reach the light so we'll do better next year um yeah so this is our that's our tiny pepper that's not thriving and then i might just grow another pepper plant kind of beside it and then that's i think i think that is broccoli um, we'll see if it does anything, and if not, we'll plant another pepper plant, because like I said, we have tons of pepper plants out front, and I'll show you them all. Um, but this is the cool thing. So we have a path that comes up to where I'm standing, and then the path comes all the way through the back row here. So this is all tomatoes. The back is um, sunrise sauce and Roma, and the front is Esterina with Cobra then we have our very shocked San Marzanos that we planted a while ago. I don't know if they're going to come back. Some of them are coming back. I don't know if they all will. I also think we may have put the fence too high. So maybe next year we'll plant it a bit lower so that they can kind of like grasp the fence sooner. And then if they grow over the top of it, it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, so we have San Marzano, San Marzano, San Mars. Actually, literally... All of these three are San Marzano. And then we have San Marzano on the end with Roma. Then we have our beans, which have not sprouted yet. Um, I think they need a good watering. Um, we have so many rocks in the garden. Anyway, so these are the beans. It hasn't quite been a week. They take about a week to sprout and pop out of the ground. Oh, I lie. Is that one, or is that, I don't know what that is. Um, that might be a sprout, it might not be. I don't think it is. Anyway, the broccoli seems to be coming back. So some of them are standing back up. They're looking healthier-ish. There are a lot that are dying. I was going to plant peppers in the place where the broccoli was dying, but what I've decided to do is sprout more broccoli and then work my way backwards from our last frost date and potentially plant like a second crop of broccoli where those are dying. And then we planted corn over here that has, I don't think any of them have sprouted. And we have, tree and then we have beets um, and I don't know why but I thought that the beets were like where we had to plant like one per square foot you can plant a heck of a lot more than that um, so I think what I'm gonna do is wait for them to sprout and then we'll kind of rake up the area and plant more in a bit um, yeah cuz some of them are sprouting like this guy is sprouting so, anyway, that's our quick little garden tour. We're basically done shoving things into the ground. And then my dad's on his way here. And we're going to plant this front garden area with the plants that he brings. Uh, so, anyway, I'm going to go inside, wash my hands, get some water. I honestly... <laughs> I can't even look at my face. I don't know how people look at me today because I just, actually every time Josh looks at me, he's like, feels bad. Um, Cause it, it, it is sore and it hurts. Um, so I, I am excited. 
I am actually very excited that we pretty much have everything in the ground. Like nothing's left upstairs in the grow room. It makes me very happy. But this is bringing me down, man. It's bringing me down, it hurts. I can't blink properly. Um, so yeah, that's what we deal with. Gardening's dangerous, guys. Gardening has its hazards. This is one of them. Um, but no, I am, I'm pretty excited. I'm very excited. I'm excited to see it all start growing. I'm excited to see like how fast things take. Um, but I'm going to hop off of here. I'll show you guys after my dad gets here and we get things planted in the ground and things like that, uh, what it looks like. But I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get these bins to the inside of the fence. I'm gonna get those bins that we planted the bush beans in to the inside of the fence. Planted five in those containers and I'm starting to feel like they are bigger than 14 gallon containers. Like if I filled it to the brim, I think it would have taken that whole bale. So they're probably closer to like 30 gallon containers maybe. I'm not really sure. Um, but we're gonna get them all inside the fence and along the back where we can still kind of get around them, but um, where they're kind of protected from squirrels <laughs> digging butternuts in them and planting trees. So, and that, that just happened not that long ago because we only just filled those like a month ago with stuff and planted the peas and stuff, so that's really annoying. Um, anyway, gotta water things, and we're pretty much at the point where we can kind of relax for a bit, get some meals like prepped and ready for the freezer, and just let things grow before we start harvesting them out of the garden. But I'm very excited to start doing that, and kind of like looking forward to cooking a meal where it's like all of our own vegetables, all of our own garlic, things like that. Um, Oh, but we do have one last thing. I've got to figure out how and where and why and when and what, who, all of those questions. Um, I have a lot of herbs. So like rosemary, thyme, dill, cumin, things like, like all, all these herbs that I want to plant. Um, but we've run out of, we've run out of budget for the potting soil. So um, yeah. We might have to save those for next year or something. But anyway, talk to you guys in a bit. There's one that's garlic. Progress. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think, I don't know what those are. Those are chives. I know. Joseph, put the rocks down, please. Dad, are we going to the park? Yes, that's the point. Why don't we? I'm been doing a bow. Yeah, later. Okay. So we have a hosta and chives. Chives are yummy in potatoes, so this will be fun. Then we have these two plants over here. What are these over here? Smell this. Oh, that smells good. I can smell it. Stick your nose in it and smell it. It smells like garlic. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Huh? They yes. You said I don't yes. Smell anything. We'll go up to the plant and smell it. That? Uh, Can I smell? What are these plants over here? Which one? The Both. Pink one there's one that's pink ball one. I have no idea what kind it is. It's like a pink ball? Yeah. And then what's the one in the back? That's the pink ball. The estebel is the one at the front. Oh, a stebel? Yeah. All right. These look cool. Joshua, can you please pull this back a little bit? So I can push the dirt off the other. Hang on. Granddad, can I smell the scarlet right here? Okay, now you want to pull this part. Joseph, leave the rocks alone, please. Do I have any grapes yes. in the garden? Grapes? Yeah. No, those are all vegetables That's back right. there. I, I the fruits are right on the other yeah. side by the lilac Could bush. Could we make our own V8? Need to bring it with me. Yeah, maybe after heart, like in harvest season we can. Okay, please get off the mulch. I'm watching the technique of people planting. I'm relishing in the fact that I'm not planting these. 
because I just planted a whole garden. Okay. Yeah, I helped you. Yes. <coughs> Yesterday. You dug I have some holes. a couple holes. of uh, bleeding hearts. Okay, so some, uh, also I have the um, lilies of the valley. Lilies of the valley? Yeah. And then another they can go in the one. back, eh? Okay? Go no, the we'll put some in, yeah, the back portion, yeah, yeah we'll put some in. You want, but they'll just decide where they go from there. No, that, I know that, yeah. So and we can pull them out there. later, it's not a big deal. The back portion. Well, the lilies of the valley, valley, just grab one little bit. It's in a bunch, yes. Okay. Yeah, plant it in the back, let it multiply, and then we'll just pull them out when we don't want them going in a certain area. Put that down, please. Put that down, please. Put it down. Thank you. Don't run off with my right. shovel. Right. You know what? That can go yeah. right here. That's a, what is that? Hey, don't do that. Is that don't the lily of the valley or the bleeding heart? This is the lily of the valley. Oh. Yeah. I forgot what they look like. That's nice. Those are the lilies. You might want to put them closer to the back, maybe? Mm, smell that. We'll let, them, we'll let them spread from over here. Oh, yeah. That smells so good. Yeah. We'll let them spread from here. Can I yeah. Well, cut, come closer, Johnny. Smell the white flower. Put your nose right up to it. Mm. Smells good, eh? Yeah. Johnny, hurry up. Oh, Granddad, the church garden has one of these. Yeah, we, we're going to have some too. Put your nose into the white flower. Joseph! The oh, there. Careful, buddy. Smell the flower. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. They're at the church garden. They're blooming. Okay, relax. Bring her up, yeah. I want to see the bloom. No, stay over here, please. Yeah? Get your hands out of your pants. Backyard. Joseph. Okay, stay off the church property. I think so too. I think compliments over here for now. And the children are gone. There's still about 300 and some odd more at the house. <laughs> So we'll let that go that oh, way yeah. as it goes. I'll dig them up if it goes this way. Okay, yeah. don't scratch, okay, so please. There. There's a okay. So the peonies, small purple plants here. Don't pull my necklace, please. Oh, this is where I'm looking for. Ow! You need your nails shade. cut. <laughs> That's okay. a trillium. Okay. Yeah. That can go over here then. Does it need shade? Hey, Joseph. See, I let you guys do this because the front garden looked great at the last house, so. Can carry your sister. You're so nice, Joseph. That'll be nice. It'll turn around. Good Ready to bloom job, too, guys. Too. Excellent. Now, bleeding hearts. Okay. Do you have any other one-offs? So, is it just the bleeding hearts and peonies? That's so no one-off here. What is it? Look at the thinking Just face. Hi, guys. Okay. There's one more of these guys. What is that? This is Campanella. Campanella. It's a purple flower. Oh, like cool. Flower. Smaller, right? Smaller. Yeah. So we can go out front. And then there's another one of these guys. What is that? Lily? Lily of the Valley. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, that's what is that? Oh, wow. Okay. So right there is good. There. That's the deep. So you know what's great about this front garden and letting it kind of get overgrown is the mulch has actually started to like decompose in the soil, which is great because it's actually like made the soil nice and like rich and you know what I mean? Yep. It's good nice. soil once we got all the crap out. All right, so then other than that, it's just the... Um, the oh. lily. Look at him. He doesn't care. He don't, he don't need a shovel. He just gets right in there. 
gloves and all. I don't even use gloves anymore. I found them a hindrance. All right, oh, really? so it's just the, uh, just the beanies and the um, bleeding heart now. Yeah. Okay, so let's go. So we're gonna start. I'd like. I'm gonna put three peonies here and then two bleeding hearts on either side of the center one. Okay. Or not. You know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we get it. Okay. Give me a wide. Not wide? too deep. You need wide. Yeah. Oh my goodness, is that another tree? Pull that out. Do you know how many trees the squirrels planted in my garden? No, let's just talk about this, okay? The pots, the pots of things that I planted, I just put the soil in like two weeks ago. They have trees growing in one of those. Good job, squirrels. Drive me nuts. Ready. Uh, what is that? What is that? Those peony. are peonies. Okay. Uh, just give me a second. What, what is, is that? that normal? Normal? Nope. Right. What are those? Peonies. Oh, well, okay. And where are that? That's more peonies. Okay. Dana, watch the camera. You good? You ready? <laughs> what? The peony rings I brought down? Uh, yeah, they're out here. They're right there. Right. On the front porch. So we, we can put the peony rings around here and we'll have to soak them. Guys, come on. I grabbed it and brought it up here and he was like, Give it to me. You have to ask me for each play thing. I don't hear that. That was in the back. Oh. <laughs> I, say, I didn't hear that. Okay. Don't hear. These may have my back Until I get back from the back. Okay. It is going, so I just got it. Until they get guys. Um, just in total strength. Yeah. And then I just got no. Okay, what? So there's one. It this is one. one here. I guess this one. We'll, we'll throw that in the ground in the back. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Jonathan, go get shoes on, please. This one here. I think we're going to get some rain. Oh, perfect. I know. That's why I didn't really water anything I just planted, because I wanted to see what kind of so rain we got. For oh, this one. Great. Yeah. I'm going to go over this one. This one used to be a white peony. It's now pink. Because it sat beside the painting garden and it changed colors. There's no white peony. Oh, yeah, you can put the white one there. Yeah. It's now pink, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's okay. I want to see what happens if we put the white one beside it. Yeah. That should be good. Hang on, Missy. Hang on. <laughs> oh. Want me to go down a little more? No, it's not. That's it. Dana, you can't get down. No. Just license plate, screw buddy. the license plate back together. What are you doing? Just driving around? Yeah. License plate, what, dragging on the ground? Yep. Yeah, with on the trailer, the trailer. The trailer. Oh, I see, I see. Or he's got the two screws, he's only got one. We can also mulch this oh, after, guys. Well, still, yeah. Because they're going to be in shock, eh? So you don't want them to have to put their energy into trying to stand up, too. Is that 
Oh, no. Do you want to help him? Yeah. What? I'm Okay. Honestly, guys, I'm pretty done this weekend. Like, you guys have just been on each other since, like, you came home Thursday. No, Jonathan, back away from the road, please. Your little brother's following you. Go play in the backyard, please. What? Oh, well. No, he's not. No, he does not always do that. Knock it off. Keep taking these down. Jonathan? Then that's when you go and talk to an adult. So careful. They always do that. I don't know why. So yeah, just uh, it may not do too much this year because we can't find it. Oh yeah. Oh, the ants came too. So you've got ants and all. Make sure you don't shove Jonathan out of the way to get the basketball, please, because that's not very nice. I didn't. Uh, the other day, apparently, you did? Yeah. The other day, I didn't even have that. Please go play in the backyard with it, Jonathan. Also, Jonathan. We're going to take a bubble. You got a big bubble on that one? <laughs> no. Okay, Jonathan, go put the basketball away. You're not playing with it. I already asked you to go play in the backyard twice, and you're just sitting there ignoring me bouncing the ball. No, we're going to put that in the back. It broke off. Alright. Here's your stale. I'll bring it to the back. No. Dad and Granddad are gonna this one here you want plant to the ferns in that in the back and see what happens. Watch out, Joshua, please. What are ferns? Uh, in that far, no, in the far garbage bag. No, leave that. Leave it, leave it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Thank you. This one here is over 50 years old. And it's a single bloom. What is that? Peony? Peony? Yeah. They even look different, the stalks, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So this one here, because I transplanted it in the fall, won't bloom anymore. How many years old is it? Over 50. Whoops, sorry there, little buddy. That, that peony bush is over 50 years old. Yeah. Where'd it come from? That one there is Diane. That one over there is the one that Twenty and I had, the far one. Yeah. And this is another one from Diane. And this one, this one here, it has, there is a single bloom in this one. Oh, okay. One. Put those ones back because it'll keep this yeah. symmetrical. So. Well, the second thought would be digging out that other side of the... Oh, yeah. yeah and putting can. it there. But you have a tree stump to contend with. Yeah, true. Went by. Oh. <laughs> I think the plants will be all right. I think so. Yeah, they 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 don't even look like they're well. Peonies look a little sad, but that's it. Oh yeah. 
but uh, once it rains, mm -hmm. a couple of days. And we'll give them some plant food Actually, in like a week or two. Yes. Josh? Yeah. We should just give them some plant I food in a week or two just to give them some nutrients. What? Yeah. Probably a fern plant. I'm telling you, those things were all over the place. Ferns wouldn't be like that. They're weird looking. They're gross. All right. The other. Yeah, it drove by. That'd be kind of neat to see what happens when the sun got pink. Yeah, we could put one in the front hey, over here. What? Because it would actually be symmetrical, Josh, to put it just on the right side of this last peony bush, eh? Because that's where it is on the other side. Because that's not starting yet. And then once that comes through, I'll start going down. So if you put that other purple plant right here in front, like beside the last peony bush over here, that would be symmetrical. Just saying. That plant my dad has, if you put it over here on the far side of the last peony bush, like put your shout, no, peony. there, then that would be symmetrical to the other one if that's what you're going for. So that'll start it over here, and then it's on the other side, too. Yep. <laughs> that it works. was. It worked, didn't it? It's starting to rain now. It's all right. We beat it. Yep. Getting some spits of... All right, let me see what I can do for the over here. So this is what the front garden is going to look like for the next little while. You go with them. Where's the bottle? All right, now they put a peony bush in with the fruit. So we'll have a nice peony bush instead of these ugly stumps just sitting here. So that'll be nice. And then let's go find them because they're planting, they're planting ferns in the back because I just ripped a ton of ferns out from the front. And I said I didn't want any more ferns in the front. Ah, so they're going to plant them all down there. <coughs> oh, stop, Joshua, please. So I think the wildlife will like that. <laughs> Planting those for the wildlife. Well, and to make it pretty down there. There you go. Granddad, what? Is there another one? Is that the only one that's left? No, I think there's another big one. All right. I'm gonna head back. It's gonna take me a while to get home. Oh, do we have another chipmunk hole? Is that what that is? 
Yeah, the chipmunks make holes so they can hide Careful. quickly from predators. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. There, we have the nice ferns. No, it's there. green. Where they belong, too. What? Yeah, that's what I mean. The wildlife will really like it and they'll like thrive back there. So. Mom, Mom where did the chipmunks go? Well, and I was also thinking about planting a couple apple trees, like kind of down in this area so they can get all the apples down here and leave my garden alone. Where did the chipmunks go? 